Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today it is all about how to grow and care for the crown of thorns plant. The crown of thorns plant is a broadleaf evergreen semi-succulent shrub. It is native to Madagascar and grows in tropical climates worldwide. It's quite popular as a house plant and thrives indoors. Historically, the iconic Christ crown of thorns is believed to be made using this plant, hence the name crown of thorns plant. It is also referred to as Christ plant and Christ thorn for the same reasons. The real flowers are inconspicuous, but are surrounded by showy bracts varying in color. These bracts are often yellow or red and what most laymen refer to as the flowers on this plant. They bloom from spring to summer, but they can flower year-round if conditions are right. The stem is thick with sharp, black spikes about an inch long. It is a hardy plant and can survive extremely unfavorable conditions and still come out looking lush and colorful. Like with most flowering plants, more blooms result from better sun exposure. Crown of Thorns plant prefers direct full sun. The first step in caring for this plant when grown indoors is to place it in an ideal position. Ensure the plant gets three to four hours of direct sunshine each day by placing it in a fairly sunny spot. Therefore, place it in a sunny location, preferably on a windowsill or even on the porch. But in hot summer months, some shade from the harsh afternoon, some light is appreciated. The crown of thorns plant is succulent and is quite forgiving about water. To keep it healthy and fresh, ensure regular watering, but too much water will cause them to wilt and die. This plant needs fast draining soils that don't retain moisture. Ensure the soil dries out before the next watering session and lessens the frequency drastically in winter. Your plant's roots will decay if you leave them in water or moist soil for an extended period of time. Crown of thorns prefer temperatures between 55 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Although it does well in indoor environments, try to put it somewhere where the temperature won't ever fall below 50 degrees Fahrenheit or rise above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Even though there is a significant difference, the plant cannot endure extreme cold or heat conditions. This plant needs a warm environment to grow and thrive. Despite the fact that these are hardy plants and can tolerate temperatures up to 35 degrees Fahrenheit, any lower, the plant will begin to suffer. Humidity-wise, the requirements are not high. They do best in 30 to 60% humidity, easily achievable even in dry regions. Don't try to miss the leaves or increase moisture levels if not needed. This plant needs fertilization on a monthly basis during its active growing season with a general purpose fertilizer. Feeding more often will cause the plant to become too leggy and will not produce as many flowers. You can propagate Christ thorn from tip cuttings but let sap dry before placing the cutting in a growing medium. Cut the apex of a healthy stem, the lush crown of bracts. Remove the bottom leaves and insert the stem into moist soil after waiting for the sap to dry. Keep the soil moist and place the container somewhere in a sunny and warm location. The plant will grow roots and new shoots from the cut end of the stem. You can also propagate these plants by seeds, but seeds are rarely seen in indoor plants, making them impractical and tedious. Propagation by tip cuttings is the easier and faster way. When potting or repotting a crown of thorns plant, it's essential to use soil that drains well. A potting mix high in sharp sand or gravel will work well. Use a cactus mix as a base and add rich organic material. Well-drained potting soils and drainage holes are a must. Don't repot unless you need to. These plants want to be slightly root-bound. Wait for the roots to spill over and get overcrowded before repotting. When you do, make sure to use a pot that is slightly larger than the current one. The sap of the Christ plant is moderately toxic and can cause skin and eye irritation. The sharp spikes on the stem are also a hazard. Handle with gloves. Place the plant out of reach of children and pets. Mealybugs, scale insects, thrips, and spider mites are the most common pests of these plants. They can inhibit its growth, damage it, and even cause it to die. Use horticultural oils if the problem isn't severe. In case the issue is serious, use insecticide to control it. 